Hi guys, this is Miss Alejan. Today we're going to talk about karyotypes. In these pictures you can see three different types of karyotypes. In here you can see karyotypes that have not been organized. And in here you can see how people have taken out all of the chromosomes and organized them based on sizes. Remember that we have 23 pairs of chromosomes, which will account up, up to 46 individual chromosomes. Remember also that one of these chromosomes comes from the mother and one of the chromosomes comes from the father. We can also tell from a karyotype, which is an organized profile of a person's chromosomes, the sexual identity. And here you can see the last pair of chromosomes can either fill up an X or a Y. And these are designated names that do not mean that they look like an X or a Y, but that have been designated for many generations and kind of like the name stuck there. So here you can see that this individual has two X chromosomes. This will be a female. A male shows up having one X and one Y chromosome. Let me show you making this really big. So here you can see in the last pair, one X and one Y chromosome. The Y chromosome gives it all the information that it takes to be a male. For example, changing in your voice or making you really strong and masculine. All of these chromosomes that we can organize are going to come in pairs. The mother and the father pair are known as homologous chromosomes. Here we can see the karyotype of the dog. As you can see, dogs have 39 chromosome pairs. We have to count down also the sexual identity of the chromosome, so the X and the Y will count as a pair. Now, is this a boy or is this a girl dog? This will be a boy because it has an X and a Y. A cell with a double set of chromosomes or with mother and father chromosomes we will know as diploid. While cells that are asexual that only have one parent we will know as haploid. Can you spot in here any abnormality? If you look carefully you will see that chromosome 21 actually doesn't have two, it has three. This is called non-disjunction non and non-disjunction happens when during the process of mitosis the chromosomes do not split correctly so one more chromosome is given from the mother or from the father and usually this happens at random and cannot be helped. This happens and then we have three chromosomes where we should have two in chromosome 21 causing trisomy which means 3, 21 or Down syndrome so the body and the brain will develop differently. Losing a chromosome in any of these places can also be dangerous or harmful for the organism. But in some cases, mutations are beneficial. In here we can see that all organisms have different number of chromosomes. Here is the chromosomes of a dog, 39 pairs. Here are the chromosomes of a wolf. Notice that we also have 39 pairs. Perhaps you have heard that dogs and wolves are related. Well, look at the number of chromosomes. Here are 39 pairs, which is 38 plus the sexual identity pair. And here we have 38 plus the sexual identity pairs will make 39. As you can see, wolves and dogs are very related to each other because they still share the same amount of chromosome pairs. Other organisms that are interesting include the lion and the tiger, who do have the same number of chromosomes However, inside their chromosomes, the genetic information is in different places. So it doesn't quite work so well. The lion and the tiger can mate and have children. The tiger will be a cross between a male tiger and a female lion and a liger between a male lion and a female tiger. But these beautiful organisms, the tiger and the liger, will have lots of medical issues. And also, they will not be able to reproduce by themselves, producing children that will die before they are born. This is all about karyotypes. Thanks for watching and have a great day!